basic trait. So coming to Libra, this child has become a boy now. Adolescence is over. Now he wants to explore the outside world and he wants to be in the serious relationship. Now he wants to see people, talk to people, wants to impress people, especially the opposite sex, right? So they are more concerned about what the others think of them. Undoubtedly, they are attractive, handsome, well-proportioned, um, being a Venetian sign. And again, a watery planet. So uh, it's a, you know, they have a very prominent nose, I've seen, and cheeks. They have very prominent nose and cheeks. Some, or maybe if Venus is, I've seen if Venus or Jupiter or uh, any other planet, which is like, especially Venus, if is defective in a chart, uh, is uh, weak, then there is a, you know, mark on the nose or it is deformed nose. People say it's Jupiter, but it's not Jupiter. It's the Venus because Venus is nose, smell. And uh, ears uh, is represented by Jupiter. The Gaja, as we know, elephant. So that is uh, Jupiter. So if there is any defect in ear, you know that your Jupiter is weak in the chart. So if your nose is deformed, if you see a person's nose, you know that Venus is weak in this chart. You will get to know. They have a very sweet smile. They, uh, you know, they show, they portray that they are very well balanced, but they aren't from within. That is one issue with them. They will show that they are, you know, pretty balanced, but they are not. They are fair complexioned. They are, uh, you know, if Venus and Moon influence them, they could be very bulky also on the bulkier side. If Venus and Moon are uh, predominant for these, because they are very slim and uh, tall otherwise. But if Venus and Moon come to play or Jupiter, then they are uh, the other way. And they pay importance to others more than themselves, actually. Um, because it's a sign of partnership, business, and, you know, they're fond of cosmetics, perfumes. I've generally seen, you know, film stars having uh, a lot of influence of, uh, on Venus and, you know, a lot of uh, influence uh, in their chart. The Venus is pretty uh, predominant in the chart, as you know. And mostly, you know, I've seen um, uh, Libra is pretty uh, much predominant in our chart with... Uh, uh, you know, uh, with these people who are having uh, Venus uh, too much, Libra and Venus. So they are film stars, mainly. Then uh, anything else you, you can want to say about Libra? Yeah, with Libra, I have seen that their whole life goes into, you know, okay, if I do this, they will not like. <laughs> yes. Trying I to impress and make others happy. Not like those yes, like a task and you can see them doing this in a party also you know so for example right. like the biggest crisis i have seen for any libra is you put them in the middle of two people they've had it mm -hmm. <laughs> oh right. who will i talk to <laughs> and then they're like okay right. wait, wait. <laughs> yeah they actually are the peacemakers no so that exactly. is uh, they they just get uh, too uh, you know, too much in that tug of war kind of a scenario. Yeah, because know, Saturn gets exalted in Libra. So they want to make sure we do the right justice to people. You know? Yes, yes, yes. So that is something, you know, which uh, Librans uh, have the, the inherent nature is that. Now yeah. moving on to Scorpio. So, so now in Scorpio, that man who has grown, he's now, uh, you know, he has been with the family. He's doing things. Now he's, you know, it's a secretive as he was a flamboyant earlier, now he wants to keep secrets. Now he doesn't want to uh, tell everything away. He does uh, his wealth, his uh, secrets. He just wants to keep them to himself. This child who was born eight houses before, now is a man who is a secretive man also. He doesn't want to disclose everything to others. So this person is pretty, he looks very secretive. There is something that, you know, is reflective on his face, on her face. They can tell lies also at times. They can distort. They have that actually fear or, you know, if what happens if I tell this, that they might just surpass me. You know, they can just be better off. They have that, yeah. And they, you know, and they are, they are to totally, um, they become too much to themselves at times, I've seen. And they are medium height, though I am not going there still. They are medium height. 
they're well proportioned and they have big eyes <clears throat> they have broad chest they have broad face when you were saying about uh, the broad face i wanted to speak uh, about this sign because you know they generally i have seen when scorpio sign has jupiter they have a broader face and as it is scorpio's uh, you know upper body is if you will see is bigger and you know they have they have that uh, broader face i've seen most of the times than the lower body they have a round uh, belly long fingers bigger palms they have bigger palms and very long fingers and nose is very short and being a, a martian sign again they have curly hair like aries also you will find them also having wavy or curly hair because Mar martians will have uh, curl uh, if mars effect is even more so he will walk with his hands in his pocket maybe most of the times i've seen they will not show their hands secretive they uh, they will maybe you know on the back they will lock the hands and walk that's also what i've seen they'll tie their hands M most of the times you will see scorpions doing that yeah and with scorpions i have noticed sometimes you'll be talking hmm. to them they're very silently hearing you and then you will talk 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 and they will be like mm, okay yeah i get it and then after two days they will call and say actually i wanted to tell you something that day <laughs> <laughs> then i am like why didn't you tell me that day why are you telling me now when i was sitting with you you know they like yo actually you know i was doubtful you know how you will take it aapko bura nahi lagega ye wo this that and i am like doubt at least is, now yeah <laughs> yeah that yeah. secretive thing is there and Yeah, at times I have seen, you know, they are like sitting and maybe they are just thinking what is going on. Too much analysis I have seen them doing sometimes, and they think they take things very personally, just like Cancer I have seen. But the Cancer people I have seen, you know, for example, if you uh, insult them, you know, in face or in front of other people, you know, then they can really feel bad and they can start, you know, crying or you know they will leave the place. But Scorpio people are not like that. They are like mm. okay. you have insulted me cancer cancer is actually like water you know they uh, it will take the shape of they are very flexible exactly. it will take the shape of uh, it's like a, any mold you know they can mold themselves in any container you put them in yeah it's and with scorpio i have seen you know you do something bad not bad necessarily good also could be but and they will be waiting you know okay when yes. time comes you know i will <laughs> i will attack <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, all. when the right time comes, you know, because it's a fixed sign, and Cancer is a movable sign. So they they are like they know when to hit back. You know, Scorpion has this, <laughs> and they can be good also like that. You know, you I I find sometimes uh, some Scorpio prominent people they will tell me, you know, you help me, I am helping you now. So if that's good, it's great. Right. No, they are they are otherwise. You see, Scorpios, uh, Scorpions are very observant. they okay. have that nature you know and they are uh, like even if they are secretive you know why they are secretive because they know they have uh, been hit hard so they just don't want to disclose things to others so that is something which is the nature part you know i don't want to get into it because then this video will be like 3 hours video you know if we keep on talking about the nature also so like they they are actually stout they are little you know they have bigger face so that is their main uh, uh, when you see the look uh, when you see the chart then uh, coming to sagittarius now this child in the story who is a man now is uh, now going through uh, in the eighth house lot of struggles obstacles and you know like he's a uh, lot of miseries he's gone through now what he wants is he wants to see god out of fear in this ninth house zone which is the sagittarius sign so he feels that you know getting religious and spiritual will you know take away all his worries this is why this you know is connected why ninth house falls after the eighth house it is the next one why because people are everything is well knit very well properly knit so this is not actually uh, sagittarians are not spiritual people they are not religious people people get mistaken when they say that you know sagittarius sign okay they are very highly spiritual sign no they are actually just doing things out of fear these natives aren't religious or spiritual please until unless jupiter is influencing the sign uh, so please don't uh, kill me 
when you hear this. So it's just that, that, you know, I'm just saying, because I've seen myself, you know, I've seen so many charts and I'm saying this and I can be very confidently saying this because uh, this has happened that they have owned up actually. They've owned up also that, no, we are not, uh, we are out of fear doing all this. So they just want to be dependent on something where they can get some relief. So these natives are generally very handsome coming to the looks. They are very handsome, good looking. They have the warrior like look because Sagittarius is a sign which is, you know, warrior. So center. They have, yeah. So they have large forehead. Uh, they could be bulky if Jupiter or Moon, Venus or either of these are impacting this sign. They are, all are not uh, bulky. Please mind you, if you see Sagittarius sign, okay, this is Jupiter's sign, so he'll be, he's not bulky. But they, it is because Jupiter is not aspecting that sign. Or Venus or Moon is not uh, influencing this sign. Or maybe Mars or Saturn is influencing this sign. So they can become, uh, they, they, they can uh, be slim and trim also because of the other malefics influence. So they have evenly spread teeth, I've seen. Very good teeth. And they have a very happy smile. And it's because it's an adventurous sign also. You know, they are very uh, much into, uh, you know, they want to spend time in isolation also because it represents forests, travels. They have loud speech, uh, sharp and loud speech because it's a fiery sign again. And uh, 159, all of them, you know, uh, they, are, they have loud speech. They cannot be very... Uh, quiet types or very subtle no they are not sweet uh, they don't have spe uh, sweet speech actually and their knees i've seen the knees area is very weak and they always walk upright they will not bend like virgos bend and walk like uh, you know most of the times i've seen these people don't they walk upright Anything else you want to speak about Sagittarius, Babaji? Yeah, with these people also I've seen they can have uh, some issues with hair because that's also a fiery sign. And mm. for these people, uh, in my limited knowledge, I've seen that they will gravitate more towards, you know, like maybe the boss or not boss exactly, but somebody, you know, who is giving some knowledge or, you know, is be a bit inspirational because Jupiter is also the Karaka for inspiration. So they like motivational speakers or, you know, in a gathering, if they see somebody is there, you know, then they can try to you know, make a rapport with them <laughs> sometimes. This is what I have seen. Yeah. And with appearance, yeah. yeah, again, the face is very broad. This is what I have seen time and again. And uh, yeah, that must be because of the Jupiter influence. Otherwise, they are very slim. Yes, yes, slim. yes. Yeah, they are very slim. Must be with yes. the Jupiter. Yes, influence. yes, definitely, definitely. Jupiter, yeah, Jupiter's influence will give some of that features. That's and they'll be highly spiritual then. They'll be highly, highly spiritual from within. They'll not be on the superficial way, you know, if, uh, if they are, uh, Jupiter is uh, predominant in their chart. That happens. Yes, yes, yes. That's so very, moving, I've observed. Moving no. further on, oh yeah, you want to say something, sorry. No, no, I mean, I have observed this principle. If Jupiter is in 1, 5, 7, 9, then the and sometimes you know they become more bulkier after marriage also because Jupiter is the Karaka for mar weddings and marriage, so then also you know they kind of uh, gain weight sometimes. I have seen this, oh, it's freezing. <laughs> All right, okay, it was paused and now we are back with Capricorn. 